This is Jesus Garza. I'm at Funtown RV Center over here in uh, Claiborne, Texas. I'm going to be checking out something I just saw on the lot. It's new for me. I never heard of this uh, company. It's called uh, Black Series. I'm going to be inspecting four different units, primarily the two-wheel, you know, travel trailer. And then I'm going to show the other version, which has the uh, bunkhouse and has four wheels. And they have a soft top, you know, pop-up. And they also have a hard top pop-up. <laughs> I hope I got that right. So check it out if you're interested. I'm back. This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Today we're going to be talking about Black Series, an Australian designed uh, travel trailer designed for the off road. First, I'm going to be talking about the uh, HQ 17 and the uh, HQ 15. I saw this unit at uh, Funtown uh, RV Centers in Claiborne, uh, Texas. They are the nicest people in the state of Texas. Go check them out. This is a new product. I want to be showing uh, about five second uh, little photographs that I shot. And uh, for example, this is the tires. They use actually good tires, Cooper tires. And here's a shot of the other unit it has a single tire. So we're going to start off with the HQ15. This has only two tires. Uh, it is not a bunkhouse model like the 17. Here's the literature that I downloaded from the Black Series website. So you can pause this video at any time to look at this information about the chassis, the appliances, the interior, the plumbing, and the electrical. I'll be having these for each one of the four units I'm going to be showing photographs of. And again, these photographs are only five seconds long, and you can pause them at any time to say, man, I want to check out those... Uh, uh, the back uh, towing uh, connection there they have and these stairs i have to pause the video again i was at funtown uh, rv centers over there in claiborne texas uh, they allowed me to shoot this this is a new product from my i just went to the lot and I go wow they have this australian designed you know going out in the middle of nowhere sort of uh you know travel trailer and they have four incarnations on their lot that i noticed so here's the outdoor stove. Uh, you got three burners. You get a you know an area to wash your dishes, etc., etc. Very nice. And uh, typically these are available again in the United States of America, only in Australia, in the beautiful country of Australia. So this is the Black Series Caravans. That's what they call them in Australia. This has a Fiamma F45S. Uh, awning very nice it has a very unusual 4x4 friendly hitch it has a lot of uh, movement in that hitch so you won't get stuck anywhere again this is a new product uh, something very different uh, it's for you folks that like to go uh, you know down rutted roads down rocky roads with your uh, you know 4x4 truck uh, this is a pretty heavy unit it's over 4,000 pounds and uh, I doubt that you can tow it with a Jeep, um, maybe some of the bigger Jeeps, a new big, big Jeep truck and probably tow this and some of them with the V6s, no problem. And these are the latches, you press a button and it pops out. Wow, amazing. I really, really like this uh, unit. Uh, it's not for me. I wouldn't buy it because again, it's, uh, it's a, you know, I don't go down those, you know, kind of roads myself. I, I, I'll go, I'm rather timid. They have little bumpers on the side to protect the uh, bottom of the unit from getting, you know, beat up. And this is the pass-through storage in the front. And of course it is a 30 amp unit. There's a little fuse box right there. I'll open it up for you so you can check it out. And it's got, you know, these breakers for the uh, air conditioner and different other things. And this is, I found very, very, very different. They locked the water tanks. You can't access the water tanks without using a key. They, I guess they're you know, a little bit paranoid, huh? And they got these beautiful windows. And that little protrusion right there uh, is a DC receptacle. You just plug in your DC uh, unit there if you want to get it charged. Okay. And here's a shot of the back of the unit. Again, this unit is super rugged. It has a pair of extra Cooper tires in case you puncture one of your other tires. It has this tiny little table that plops out. Again, you have the kitchen and you have this little table. And that's all very, very good. So here's this, uh, how it's locked. Uh, keep the door from, you know, slamming open. You have this little plastic little thing here. It's better that plastic breaks 
then you know you yank out a chunk of your wall so you can always replace that piece of plastic that's two little steps to get inside and these uh, super super uh, bear unfriendly the bears will try to break in but they won't be able to and the mountain lions maybe you never know if they're persistent so it has a solar powered little wall light as you get in here's the view of the entrance right down to the bottom they have this little that's where you control your steps they, they go in and they go out and I don't know what that switch is for and they have ground fault circuit interrupting uh, AC receptacles very nice here's a view from the bathroom looking forward towards a bed you have a little TV all kinds of uh, uh, unusual again Australian looking stuff I'm not used to seeing Australian you know, travel trailers they do things a little bit different down under so here's the bed and uh, this uh, laminated uh, you know material for the uh, cabinet doors looks pretty good have tables on both sides and, uh, and then of course little drawers under there this is a European style you know window treatment you snap it closed and you can move that up to get the screen or move it down to have a uh, you know uh, keep some privacy or you can raise it half and half where you can separate and just leave the door you know wide open uh, on natural and that's how you control the blinds with this you know cord and you press the button right there in the middle of the handle to open, uh, you know, to gain access to your storage right there. Very different, very unusual. And you have these little puck lights and, of course, stereo speakers. And you have lights built into this, uh, you know, the, uh, what do you call it when you look up in the sky? Oh, skylight, skylight. And there's your uh, thermostat and some controls. And there's a close-up of, a, you know, one of the drawers. And that's the other side. Excited to show you the drawer on the other side too, and I'm even going to open it up for you. Sort of looks like uh, mm, IKEA style furniture to me. Uh, it's, uh, and of course, they have the little lights that you can move around. Punch that little button, and you're illuminated. There's the AC unit, uh, and uh, there's me in the mirror right there taking pictures with my Lumix G85. Very nice. Three burner cooktop inside and outside. Wow, you can cook a lot in this unit. And again, it's a very high quality uh, three burner uh, cooked up. And you got a stainless steel sink with a rather nice faucet. I like that faucet. And you have the laminate countertops. And there's your uh, inverter control. You have your stereo system, your Kenwood stereo system. And uh, behind that uh, door and those beautiful gas struts, there's some you know, piping and uh, some plugs receptacles there's the microwave it's not a convection stove and I got the smallest refrigerator tiny little tomato refrigerator I guess they expect you to kill what you want to eat out there you're gonna eat the veg you know what you find and here we are and that's behind the uh, that, uh, that storage area more stuff going on here very nice and here's some more storage cabinets this is in the bathroom Again, this is a laminate, a plastic laminate over, uh, you know, some composition board. I don't know what you call it, kind of board. And again, that reminds me of Ikea. What do you think? <laughs> These cabinets. Definitely no dovetail joinery here, but they have some super intense pistons there, you know, to hold up the, uh, the doors there, the, the storage doors. And a nice little toilet and a little area there where you can put your magazines in case you want to do, have some reading material. And behind that door is the shower there is a shower and uh, there's a shower wand I'm gonna pan down a little bit and there's a close-up of the you know basic little vent up there I'll replace that with a fantastic fan and you got a bowl sink and plenty of countertop space let's move into the uh, dinette this was very cozy uh, it's a little bit too tight for me it was, it was definitely and I'm only 5 10 175 pounds just imagine if you're a big person that's some tight tight and by the way, what, that dangling thing there, that's the LED lights that were dangling. I guess it got loose. So this is the pattern for the uh, seating in the dinette. Do you like it? I like it. It looks pretty sharp. And there's some of the lights and the, you can see some of the valances and some of the materials they use. This little area pops up so you can have a little extended uh, area for your legs. or And uh, that's a view from underneath. And there's that little TV there. Uh, if you're used to a 60-inch, you're going to be severely disappointed. And there's some connections back there, you know, your 
ground fault circuit interrupting connections and inverter controlled connections there, a light, etc., etc. So that was the HQ15. Let's move on to the HQ17. This is going to be a bit shorter, and this is the larger model. And uh, as you can see here, it is a bunk house model. Again, it's longer and has a bunk house and uh, has an actual nicer bathroom, I think. It actually has a you know, integrated you know, toilet slash wet bath, but it's pretty nice. I like it. And again, the shower surrounds are you know, substantial in this unit. They're, they're definitely well designed. Here's a shot from the bed looking towards the bunks. And to the left, you can see the uh, inverter and the radio and the cabinets. And you know, it's all right there and some of your controls. Again, I would invite you to go to your local dealership. There's my picture of my truck out there. I just parked it right next to it to take a peek. And um, I like this unit quite a bit, but not enough that I would ever buy it. Because, again, I don't rough it like that, okay? I'll go down a dirt road. I'll go down a gravel road. But I won't go down uh, those scary roads. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit paranoid. So here's a shot of the wet bath. I like it. It looks, it looks pretty sharp, and that uh, shower surround is pretty nice. And there's your ventilation for the bathroom. So what do you think? Do you like this? That's me taking some pictures with my Lumix G85. Having a great time over there at Funtown RV in Claiborne, Texas. Here's that bowl. That's a cool looking bowl, I think. Here's a view from the bathroom going towards a bed. And there's some storage right there. And this one has a larger refrigerator. And uh, I think it's an AC DC. No, it's an AC propane. It looks like an AC propane. Wow, I didn't think they would have that. I think they would have an AC DC. So now we're going to look at the uh, pop up units the Alpha and the Dominator. The Dominator. Yes, there's the Dominator. First, we're going to start off with the Dominator. It has storage up front and it has hard you know, tops to it, it has a hard top on it. And there it is. Here's some literature on it. Don't forget you can pause this video at any time to find out what the measurements are. This unit is 17 feet and a half long, weighs 3,218 pounds, maximum capacity of the whole thing is 4,400 pounds, etc, etc. And some shot, shots of the suspension. This has amazing suspension. I didn't even show the pictures of the suspension. The suspension is outrageous. Totally outrageous. Uh, outrageously good, rather. So here's a shot of the back and you get two spare tires and that it's a hard pop-up, so that's awesome. You get some storage up there as you're traveling down the road. And I think this is even more uh, four-wheel ready than some of those other travel trailers that we saw earlier. This kicks some serious travel trailer butt, okay? There's the Cooper tires and rims, and uh, I don't know what this does. That's a question for the dealership. All kinds of uh, storage on both sides and I don't know how that contraption works. It looks like it goes up and goes down. I don't know how that works. Uh, I'll have to uh, do some research, huh? Or you'll do some research if you're interested in this unit. Superior stainless steel, high quality hinges. Wow, look at that. These are not plastic. Not plastic, these are, these will last, okay? These should last for a lifetime. And again, this is the black, series of travel trailers maximum load on this is 100 kilograms they don't even change it to pounds <laughs> they're, so, they're so australia they don't know to put it in pounds quite for us and that's a uh, something you can uh, adjust and, uh, it's a key area i don't know what kind of key you'd put in there so if, supposedly you put some gasoline in these areas up in the storage up front yeah and of course this is the propane and you get a couple tanks here i didn't check if there were 20s or 30s now let's look at the soft top alpha here's uh, the literature i got from the again from their website and this one is uh, 17 feet long it's only four feet four inches high weighs only 2400 pounds and you could add another 2000 pounds of stuff amazing and of course it has all these photographs that you can take a peek at at any time so here this one is this is for the adventurous person out there are you adventurous well, I'm not that adventurous. I, I'd like to go to, you know, some parks, but I don't want to go down that narrow road on a near a cliff and, and stare down because I get a little, a little nervous. So here's the shots of the unit. It has that gravel guard in the front and storage for your uh, propane and also your gas, extra gas as you're going down the road.
It has these tie downs and plenty and plenty of storage right there. And of course that's storage on the top. So what do you think of the Australian Design Black Series off-road travel trailers? This has been Jesus Manuel Menegarza exploring the HQ15 and 17 and the Alpha and Dominator. I saw him at, uh, you know, that place down the road from my house, Funtown RV Center. My name again is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I do travel, photography, and sometimes, once in a great while, an RV review. Please like, subscribe, and share. Gracias, adios, bye-bye.